Welcome, Welcome back, back to Life in Suzhou. Suzhou. I'm Serena. And I'm Kelly. So today I'm going to take you to some amazing street food in Suzhou. Let's do a street food tour. Me and my friend's favorite, and also a super popular place in Suzhou. I'm super interested. Oh, by the way, I heard there's an international food festival. The one at XGTLU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really can't wait to try street food from around the world. Can we please drop by? Of course, let's do that. Let's get it started. Let's, let's go. go. So here we are, first stop, mm -hmm. the Hanging Square, many students around as you can see because there are many universities yeah. and it's a false place. Mm -hmm. So they serve steam bun and these two are my particularly favorite. Uh, Chili tofu and bean. They wake up quite early every day, it's like 5 a.m. then they start to make sure everything is ready. Quite early every day, it's like 5 a.m. then they start to make sure everything is fresh, all the ingredients are fresh. And they just wow. steam it right away. Wow, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's small. Yeah, it's small. I'm gonna bite in. Yeah. Hope it's not too spicy for you to be honest. This is a really interesting take on mala tofu inside a bun. Yeah. Wow. It's salty, a bit spicy, but not that spicy, I guess. No, it's not that spicy. Awesome. This is like the perfect balance. Glad you like it. The beans, mm -hmm. they're quite special, like the best, I should say. Their specialty, mm -hmm. like, oh, the queue is gone. Normally, if you wake up quite early, you can see this queue, and normally people just ask for these two. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the tea egg, mm -hmm. the soy sauce tea egg. I do like that. It's like, I have to have this with the same bun. Ah. Wait, uh, oh, excuse it's me if I'm wrong, but so cha ye tan means tea leaf egg? Yeah, ah. tea leaf egg. So it's and boiled soy. with tea leaves? Yeah, and ah, soy sauce. Wow. And let's try to crack it. Yep. It's actually a bit saltier than regular boiled egg. Yeah. But the question is, why do you, why do you boil egg in tea? Don't you feel like it's boring to just eat plain eggs? Hmm, makes sense. Which one do you prefer, this one or the previous one we had for tofu? I think I like the ma tofu better. Because I don't know, it balance, like somehow the texture of the tofu balances out the like chewy bun. So it's a... Uh, exactly. Yeah, so it's a mixture of both and it's very interesting. I like the one mm. better as well. Yeah. Alright, so here we are at Pinjang Road, the super famous culture area in Suzhou Old Town. Here, you're gonna try all kinds of Suzhou street food here. Yes, I've been here before. It's a very famous local tourist attraction. Oh my god, you're gonna love it here, I promise. Let's get it started. Let's go. This is like Osmantus cake. <gasps> Osmantus rice cake. Yeah. So it's just like made of different kinds of rice. Wow. It's Suzhou logo stuff. You're gonna love it. Wow, it's so pretty. You know, yeah, you fit. Like different feelings for different colors. Mm. That one's chestnut, and that one's like chima. Sesame. Ah. Sesame. Oh, thank you. Mm. Which one do you want to try? The purple one looks right. interesting. I'll do this one. Careful. Still hot and sticky. Ooh, there's something inside. The, the wet filling kind of balances the texture yeah. of the dryness of the cake. Yeah, probably with some drinks yeah. that'll be better. Sweet porridge. Uh -huh. This is red bean, and this is really like kind of bubble. Oh, look at the texture. Oh, this looks like boba. Is it? Yeah, it is. Let's have. It. Mm. I thought it's gonna be sweeter though. Yeah, it's not that sweet because it's like too sweet, it's too much. Mm. It's so is this porridge essentially? Yeah. Sweet porridge. Yes, porridge. I see like now is osmantus season. Mm -hmm. So there's some osmantus on it. So what you got? Oh, I got here. Tang. So oh. 
They say it's good for your health. Yeah. It's like a beverage, like green bean beverage or something. Yeah, you can is. see the green bean here. Yeah. And this uh, is like sticky rice, I think. Mm -hmm. I, had this I, I think it's so. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we try it? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, we got mint inside. Really? Should, yeah. This, this honestly looks like a meal and a drink, but in a good way because yeah, it's really so cool. refreshing. Yeah. So here we are for the egg guan bing. Mm -hmm. You see they got different ingredients there. Mm -hmm. Just choose whatever you want. Bacon, pork or sausages and they got different kind of sauces. Ooh, I can choose it to be spicy or not. You see the spice uh -huh. right over there? Yeah, I see like soy sauce and chili yeah. sauce. And that one like sweet bean sauce, that one's good as well. Ooh. Yeah, you see the dish like poke and then ah, yeah, put yeah, the egg yeah. inside. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So what do you want for yours? Um, I want one with the twinkle chong. Okay, cool. So like a national snack food. Mm -hmm. You can find it everywhere in China. You want it that? for lunch and breakfast? Yeah, normally lunch, but breakfast works as well. Mm -hmm. So this is like a very custom made burrito. Like you can customize any of the ingredients. Yeah, it's inside. like all kind of ingredients here, you can just order whatever you want. And that's the egg we tried earlier. Oh yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Oh, look at how he pops the... Yeah. Oh, he just pops in. So fascinating, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Never mind, I'll take it out. Lovely skin This is like a Chinese take on a burrito. Exactly. And for me, it's really fresh because you get that cucumber and lettuce. Like it gives a kick of freshness to the like texture the texture is amazing. Yeah. I like I put something else. I put salty sauce inside as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit different than yours. Mm. Mine is like sweet and salty. Yeah. And then even the skin itself with it, uh, the sauce is only already sufficient. I love it. This is really right. good. I personally like this even better than so shoujo bean or jian bean. Same. Oh my god, I missed it. So we should definitely come back again, no matter how long the queue is. Yeah, definitely, because this is a must try. Alright, so what do you feel about the international festival? So the crowd is definitely more intense than I anticipated. Exactly. Yeah, there is so much engagement that even like everybody's joining the salsa class. Yeah, the salsa yeah. class right over there is so yeah. nice. Nice and strangers. I don't like the doodle behind us. Yeah. It's like people just come here and just paint whatever they want. Yeah. There are like people lining up just for the food. So let's go check it out. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Let's go. Like it? It's good. It looks juicy though. Mm -hmm. It's so surprising to find international food in Suzhou. Let's, Let's try, try this, this one. one. Is it chicken and pineapple? I guess so. Let looks like one. pineapple. There you go. It's a bit Thank hot. You. And onion on it, I think. Okay. Let's dig in. Okay, so what do you think of this kebab? You know, honestly, I think the kebab is better than the barbecue chicken because it's sure. very well seasoned. Like, I can taste notes of like spices originating from Caribbean. So Serena, you've taken me on a whole day of Chinese street food tour. Yep. So I'd like to return the favor by offering you these bobas that I like. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yes. So right here I've got the R&B Junnai San Bao. Okay. So what's inside is taro balls, uh, red beans, and then oatmeal. And sounds then nice. it's with a black tea, milk tea. That sounds All really right. nice. And then right here we have the Yi Dian Dian oatmeal milk tea. It's mm -hmm. with oolong and then oatmeal. So sounds nice. Okay. So let's try. Let's try. I like it. How is it? 
It's nice. So honestly, I have lots of other favorites. Like I would usually go for fruit, cheese, tea, and stuff like that. Oh, that sounds really nice. But considering on where we are, like I would give you like a suge suggestions that are nearby, like accessible from the university, so you can just get them like within 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, or like you can just order online, right? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, so the reason why I also suggested you like oatmeal, taro, and red bean instead of yeah. actual black bubble is because oatmeal is a much more healthier option. Yeah, than that's boba. true. Yeah, and it's not that sweet. I see like you order like half sugar yes. and it's non fat milk. Yes. So, it's like so you get that fiber with the, all the sugar you take. So I like to say that it cancels out each other. Oh, I prefer this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one like not that sweet. But are you full after this? I still want more nice tree food. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay, so here we are at our last stop, the Windsor Street Food area. As you can see, there are so many students around because it's still in dorm area for the whole SIP. And you can see there are national street food around this area. If you're hungry at night, you can just come here and buy whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Especially considering that restaurants close at 10. Exactly. So when you're hungry beyond those hours, all you can do is come down here. Srina, this is my favorite stall in this whole street. So That's this nice. is like Dessert? coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk with lots of toppings. Because it's always refreshing. Yeah, true. So, like, um, what do you want? We got many options here. We got rice. Normal noodles, instant noodles, rice noodles, and this is like a special kind of noodles. Vermicelli. So like I've never actually seen this type of food before. Like it's so interesting how they roast this. Egg. Yeah, it's like roasted. It's like the foil. Yeah, but it's a bit Ooh, like the blazing fire. That's yeah. amazing. All right, so as you can see, they have tofu and like potatoes here. Mm -hmm. Well, like, which one do you want? Oh, I see those sizzles and yeah, I'm it's very it. interested. So, let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, even to 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 Alright, mushrooms, mushrooms. <gasps> Definitely mushrooms. This one. Oh my god, my mushrooms. Faves. My favorite. Yeah. They're like perfect. Oh, this is like juice. bread. Have you tried it? Mm, try it. Put it on. Yeah, put it on. Put it on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. I want to try potato first. Yeah, yeah. It's perfectly seasoned. Yeah. It's very soft. Like I thought yeah. the eggs are gonna be overcooked, but then they're just like really soft, like soft scrambled eggs actually. Yeah, it's a bit juicy. Yeah, I see yeah. like oh, you know it's so windy today, but it's actually mm. worth it. Mm. Oh the coconut milk is so good. Mm -hmm. It's so freshing. Yeah. I feel like they add something else inside, probably just like normal milk. Because it doesn't taste like just coconut milk. I prefer this over actual coconut milk. Yeah, true. I like it's healthy. You see, like there's fruit, there's like red bean pudding. There's so many toppings in here. Yeah, and coconut is it's, it's gonna taste. Well, I see like eggs. And this is carrot, I think. Pickles, maybe? I don't know. It looks like probably just pickles. Yeah, it's pickles. But like, it tastes mm -hmm. good. So we only try four things today. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, there's a whole street here, there's a lot to explore. Mm -hmm. It's just worth it to have different kind of variety of food. We're just narrowing it down to our favorites, but of course everyone yeah. has different opinions, right? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching, that's the end of it. And we've tried so many street food today for Old Town area and SIP area. And now it's your time to explore. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below and don't forget to comment as well. Subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.